people is your girl, Adiola? My people, my people. Seriously? I don't, okay, you know what? There's no point arguing with you. I have realized whatever you want to do, you will still do it anyways. What's up, my people is your girl, Adiola? There's no point to introduce myself anymore because quite a it's way too forward. So I'm so excited about this story, actually, because more people are coming out to announce their interest in running for the Nigerian presidency. I'm so, so excited for all the people that are coming out and starting with my very own father, as you guys must have heard, the former governor of Imo State, Governor Rochas Okorocha. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so excited that my father wants to be the next Nigerian president. Forget about the fact that this man did not pay workers' salary when he was governor. Forget about the fact that he allegedly stole a lot of money. In fact, he was spending a lot of money, our money, you know, <laughs> on building all kinds of statues. Statues of Nelson Mandela and different people that are touching lives. And then he put his statue as... <laughs> I remember that time. Ah, my uncle is crazy. Actually, it's my father. It's not just my uncle. Anyway, the man is a uh, cray cray. But we are so excited that he wants to be Nigerian president. Daddy, you now do a welcome to this show. But he doesn't just want to be your president, by the way, Nigerians. He is ready to sing a new song. A new song as the president of Nigeria. Nigeria of today is different from Nigeria of 1960. I'm here to sing a new song. A song of unity. And a song of progress for our nation. You see? I, I'm telling you, set our own choir masters. <laughs> He's a choir master, somebody, you know, in other people, choir master, welcome to the show. You see what I'm saying? Just like Martin Luther King, you know? Anyway, now a lot of people hate this man, a lot of people don't give him regards, they think he won't be a good president. Me, I just admire the fact that this man is a very good actor. <laughs> Forget about politics. If you don't agree with me, just take a look. We say, no tribe and tongue may differ in brotherhood will stand. God bless you, and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. My people, my people. You see, my people, my people, your people, your people. You know, do a jare yoga, okorojas. We are enjoying you, daddy. Please, keep up the drama. I mean, keep up the good work. We love it. <laughs> But you know, moving on, I think my favorite of all the people that have announced their interest in running is my number one uncle. You guys know we go way back. As in me and Uncle Bukola Saraki. Ha ha! Bukola! Bonyo Jaye Bora Bukola! Ah! Saraki Oloye! You know too well. You know me. Anyway, if you've been watching my show over the last 10 years, you know that Uncle Bukola Saraki is my number one what? My number one uncle, followed by Uncle Dino Melaye. I miss Uncle Dino, by the way. Anyway, the man has also announced <laughs> that he wants to be your next president. Don't you just know? love this. The people of Kuala State, please let us know all the amazing works that the, the, he said he has changed Kuala State and all that. Let us know about the amazing works that he did as your governor <laughs> so that we can know how he would do as the president. Be Yoruba people say, be Sunday Obaseri at Saturday Latimo. If you want to know how Sunday would look like, just take a look at what Saturday was like, you know? So, <laughs> on his uh, Facebook page and on his Twitter page, he said he has a strong record of delivery. So, Kuala State people, we need to know how much he delivered when he was your governor. Oh, by the way, he wasn't just the governor of Kwara State. He was also the godfather of Kwara State before the people of Kwara said Otoge and then they kicked him out. So, <laughs> this man, two times the governor of Kwara State, the godfather of Kwara politics, as well as the former Senate president, is now ready to save us in Nigeria. And he said he has experience in making tough decisions. This is exactly what we need. People that can make tough decisions on our behalf. We are looking forward to this. It's going to be very... I've actually missed you on this show. You are back in the spotlight. So, oh, we will have fun. With this coming election, it's going to be very interesting something. Anyway, I think it is my job to let you guys know one of the things that happened at the National Assembly recently. You guys remember my father now? The majority leader of the House of Representatives, 56-year-old Honorable Ado Dogua. You guys remember him? I'm sure you remember him. Well, if you don't remember the man, let me refresh your memory. With me today here, are my four respected wives. Halima can stand up, please. Four. One. Uma, stand up. Thank you very much, Now you are doing well. You are waking up. It was the lawmaker that introduced his uh, four wives at the National Assembly. He literally is too quick. I don't even, I'm trying to imagine what that conversation was like for the four wives to follow him. <laughs> To the floor of the National Assembly, he was very proud of having four wives, and he wanted us to know. In this day and age, a man will take four wives to show off, you know, to prove that he's a real man. But not just his four wives. He announced that time that he has 27 children. These four wives you have seen have produced 27 kids for me, and I'm still counting, I'm still counting. 
point. This is something that happened in January of 2020, okay? It's not like something that happened a long time in the 50s, in the 30s, in the 1930s or so. So now he wanted us to know that he has uh, increased in number. He doesn't just have 27 children anymore. Now he has 28 children and he announced it like, you know, hey, I... <laughs> I think I need something to drink. <laughs> Do you guys have anything other that I can drink? You know, like juice or <laughs> Ethiopian coffee. Ah, we have a problem in Nigeria. These are our lawmakers. Anyway, now the man has 28 children, and by the way, he was saying that uh, he's still very active. You know what he means by that? <laughs> okay, so at the end of it all, he said that he's working really hard so that before the next election, which is next year, that he wants to get to 30. He wants to have 30 children. So he's right now, he's working really hard on impregnating at least two of his wives so that this is actually not funny. Sometimes I wonder, how did people like this, how did they get to be our lawmakers? And I'm not saying that maybe he's not smart or something, although I have my doubts. But that's not even the issue. Anybody that would vote for someone like this should know that as a man with 28 children right now, going to Tati, <laughs> and then with four wives, you know, plus himself, we're already talking about almost 35 people. As a man that has to feed about 35 people, well, 33 right now, plus two when he gets the other two children, don't you know that he will first of all steal enough money to take care of 35 people? Even the people that have just four children, they are stealing tons of money. So what do you think somebody with four wives and 30 children would steal? Are you guys, I mean, why is it that we don't for for the car? We need to be thinking as Nigerians, the bigger their family to me, oh, the bigger the money that they will steal. People with one wife, people with few children are stealing millions and billions so what do you think that somebody with a 30 children would steal i'm not calling my father a thief in case the honorable is watching i'm just saying generally generally you know in, yes that is what i'm saying my father in case you're watching you not do you not do well i think that nigerians and starting with our politicians i think we need more education in terms of planning i don't know if he's having 30 children just to make a statement or if he's thinking about the future of this children i know that he has enough money to take care of them yes but i don't know if he's thinking ahead in terms of every single one of them getting the best of the best because that is like that is more than two dozens okay human beings that and please in case his family is watching i have nothing against him or his children i'm just saying that this is not right you, you the fact that you can procreate doesn't mean you should continue to procreate ah, at the age of 56 daddy hello you see me are your eyes not pushing you he's why need to talk to the man, no, 56, 28 children, we are working on getting to that. Ah, the devil is a liar. Hey, but we only have the fear of God now. Ah, anyway, you guys not know much, I don't want to get upset. Let's talk about other stories. You guys not know much. Guess what? I'm just keeping it real. Now, moving on to Zimbabwe. This is going to be a very long story. I'm really sorry. I apologize in advance. My people, Zimbabwe, my Zimbabwe. So much has happened in Zimbabwe, guys. It's been so long that we talked about Zimbabwe. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> Now, I've told you to always wait for me. You know, you, have you ever been to Zimbabwe? How do you know what? To, get out. You don't even know what is happening there. First of all, their presidential election is coming up next year, 2023, just like Nigerian election. Their president, Emerson Dambuto Nangangwa, who's popularly referred to as ED, has made it known that in 2030, he will still be the president. Okay? <laughs> Even if he wins the election, he's supposed to leave by 2028. But he has made it known that in 2030, he will still be the what? The president. He didn't say that when he would leave, by the way. I don't think he wants to leave in 2030. But he just said that he will still be president even when 2030 comes. But the interesting thing right now is how much the president is working on winning this coming election. Now, before I tell you how hard this president is working on winning this coming election, like the man wants to stay there by fire by force. <laughs> 
talk about that. But real quick, the opposition party, the MDC, they, they've been talking about forming a coalition so that they can all come together. But guess what? This last Monday, the most popular opposition candidate, that is 43-year-old Nelson Chamisa, has formed his own party known as the CCC. Some people are saying that he changed the name MDC to CCC. And the meaning of that is Citizen Coalition for Change. So a lot of people have their eyes on Nelson Chamisa. In terms of this coming election, we'll keep our eyes open and we'll update you guys on what's happening. A lot of people are rooting for him. We've talked about him on the show in the past because he's been running for presidency even before now. But the interesting thing right now is how much the president is working on winning this coming election, especially with his... I don't want to say his new best friend. I don't know how long they've been best friends. But hey, popular Zimbabwean pastor. I mean, he calls himself a prophet. So I'm so sorry. Popular Zimbabwean prophet. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please meet 34-year-old Prophet Passion Java. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand. You're not clapping because you don't know the man of God yet. Anyway, you guys, I will catch you up. This is why you have me on the show. My brother, I beg, introduce yourself. Chiri, chiri panapa, tina boss mic. Nima wache de ma 20,000. Maringi eda ya tkwerete, makuchi, chakachena. Oh, Baba, oh, you see, you see your prophet. <laughs> in this video, he was trying to show us his latest mansion in Zimbabwe. He has mansions in other parts of the world as well. But he started by telling us how he paid twenty thousand dollars, not rent, twenty thousand dollars for his uh, wristwatch. He showed off his ring <laughs> and then his Gucci suit. I think I need to pay right now for my brother because I don't know. Okay, let me come out. Let's finish this anyway. <laughs> How would you like your pastor to introduce himself with his twenty thousand dollar wristwatch? Ah, the devil is like, ah. no, no, no. I think Nigerian pastors need to catch up. Anyway, if you go on his church's website, thank you very much. That is the prophet and his wife, by the way, because they've been telling their followers that this year, twenty twenty two, is the year of what? The year of money. In case you don't know. <laughs> In fact, in this next video where he showed off one of his cars, you could see cash. You could see money on his car seat. He, he put it there purposely and then he acted like he didn't even know that it's there. Just as a reminder that this year, for those of you that don't know, this year is the year of what? The year of money. Hey, Bentley on. Who's putting this stuff? I want, I want to see it. Who's putting this stuff? Always know. This is the year of money. The year of money. Can I see who that marry? Jokuti, copper. Anybody can talk with the man of God directly. So long as you have your money, you know, this is according to his website, by the way. That is uh, www.prophetpassion.com. For as little as 220 US dollars, you can actually call him directly. I'm telling you, the waiting period is just maybe three to four weeks, according to the website. And then you can call him on WhatsApp, which was originally $1,000. They said on their website, and then they said they now discounted it to $200. <laughs> I'm sorry. But why? that's a very big... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's a very big gap. From 1,000 to 200. The man of God is doing you guys a favor. If anybody wants to call him on WhatsApp, I guess the WhatsApp price is higher, 1,000, maybe because people can do video what, video call. I know they can do FaceTime on regular call as well, but with WhatsApp, you know, people can call him and, you know, they can they can see his face. And stuff. Maybe that is why it was 1,000, but now they discounted it to 200. You guys need to take advantage. <laughs> Keep in mind, we're talking about dollars. You get what I'm saying? This is not rent, you know? You just have to wait for about two months to get on the WhatsApp call. How nice is that? By the way, if you just want to break evil altar in your life over the phone with the man of God, all you need to pay is $99. Although I don't know. I don't know why it's cheaper to break evil altar than to talk to the man of God. Do you know why? This is a very discounted price. Anyway, anybody can donate on his website. But just so you know, if you give, there are categories to give in to this particular man of God. $20 or less is only the joy category. $30 means that you have faith. If you give $50 or more, you are in the hope category. $100 means love. It means somebody. And with $500, you are favored. That is your category. And if you dare to give $1,000 or more, you are a what? A VIP. A According to his website. You see when <laughs> God, this is, I'm sorry, guys. I feel like I'm advertising a business. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like I'm talking about 
are a business. Don't you don't you feel anyway? Let's go back to the story. So when he started cozying up with the president, he's a very popular prophet, by the way. I was not surprised that he made a video where he announced that himself and the president, that both of them were ordained by God. Now, in this video, he said that kings are ordained by God, and if you are found to be in opposition to what God has ordained, you must have a demon, like you must be possessed. <laughs> Wow, wow. You need to understand. He's a very big somebody with branches not just in Zimbabwe, but South Africa, America, Jamaica, and Tanzania. In fact, he has mansions not just in Zimbabwe. Even in Maryland, USA, the man has a what? He has a mansion. He has more than 800,000 Instagram followers. So, <laughs> and then his wife is also a prophetess. I mean, prophet, prophetess, you know what I mean. And when he travels in Zimbabwe, as a friend of the president, he gets his own police escort. Thank you very much. Anyway, he does a lot of giveaways on his Instagram page as well, just so you know. But as the elections are getting closer, the man has been giving a lot of gifts to celebrities in Zimbabwe. And you know he's associated with the president. He didn't say that he's giving the gifts on behalf of the president. No, 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 no. And he didn't say that they were from the president. Because everybody knows he's been working hard in promoting the president. But some Zimbabweans are putting two and two together. They are thinking that he may be trying to get these celebrities to promote voting for the president in the coming election. I was like, ah, so, like in this video, he gave a Mercedes Benz to this celebrity, a musician. Special thanks to the man of Jar, Passion Java. What it means, I'm tired. What it means, I'm Jar. Why is here? Zotiniana, Stimela Sam Saseseke. Okay. He also gave out Mercedes Benz to these two comedians. You know, all these people have a lot of followers. You know what I mean? But you know what? The man of God is not just working with Zimbabwean celebrities. No, 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 no. He has branched out. You know, he has his own record label. It's called Fashion Java Records, where he promotes musicians. He does all kinds of music, by the way, all kinds of genre. It's not just gospel, because I don't want you to be shocked if you see some of the songs that he's promoting. It's, it's business. It's just business, you know? So <laughs> one of the songs that he produced recently, that his record label produced, is by a Zimbabwean singer who featured Kofi Olominde, that is the popular Congolese musician who has huge followers. Anyway, while they were singing that song and dancing in the song, in the middle of it, suddenly you could hear Kofi Olominde say, ED, Nangangwa, number one. ED, Nangangwa, number one. Do you understand what just happened? Like, right there. Kofi Olomide just gave a shout out to the president of Zimbabwe and he called him number one. It was like a subtle way of campaigning for the president of Nangangwa. They knew that a lot of people would watch the song and of course they did. More than 7 million people have watched that song. And by the way, that's the man of God with uh, Kofi Olomide when they were recording the song. Anyway, so the man of God was in the news recently. That is why we are talking about this. <laughs> because he threw a huge birthday party for his manager. That is the Passion Java Record country manager. That is Denford Sauyama. He did this birthday party at a club in South Africa where he spent 1.3 million rands. That's about 85,000 US dollars in one night at the club. <laughs> Ah. So as expected, the story went viral that the man of God bought booze for everybody inside the club, that they poured several bottles of champagne on the celebrant, all kinds of expensive wine, and of course you can see the prophet nearby, they were pouring the wine, and um, they even posted the receipt in case anybody was doubting how much money they spent. So the story went viral that the man of God spent 85,000 US dollars at a club in South Africa celebrating his manager's birthday. <laughs> 
my goodness. So when the receipts went viral, he went online because some people were like, oh, where did he get that kind of money? It's not possible to spend that kind of money. And he went online and talked about the fact that he's even richer than that. And of course, during the birthday shout out inside the club, he gave out a Rolex watch to his manager while they were clubbing. <laughs> Okay, so the issue now is elections are coming. <laughs> it's very clear that the man of God is working really hard in promoting the president Mnangangwa. There are so many pictures of them together. You know, he meets with the president and then he goes and meets celebrities on behalf of the president. People are saying. <laughs> and then, of course, he has already told us that it is God that <laughs> ordained kings. And if you are in opposition, you must be possessed. So it is clear that he is working really hard in promoting the president. But some people are now saying that as a man of God, though, spending $85,000 in one night in a club. <laughs> on champagne is going too far you know so i thought i would bring the issue here for you guys to help us weigh <laughs> on this case i just want to know what you guys think especially how desperate the president is to get re-elected the fact that he's buying out all the celebrities like i said earlier so much is going on in zimbabwe we'll just you know be taking them one by one but hopefully next time that we mention the man of god prophet passion java you guys will remember who we're talking about zimbabweans are really getting ready for this election and we're watching everything on our plasma tv zimbabweans we would love to hear from you guys and by the way the followers of the prophet as well we would love to hear from you because the man is a very popular somebody like i said i'm not abusing him on this show i'm just telling people about him so now more people can pay money to call the man of god you know what i mean <laughs> What you guys think about this Zimbabweans we would love to hear from you guys we'll definitely keep you posted on the coming election you guys not doing much guess what I'm just keeping it real so guys I'm really excited about the next two announcements if you stay tuned you would know how you can win either an all expense paid stay at a luxurious hotel a five-star hotel or $1,000 cash okay first of all first of all I have told you guys about Umo Jami which was a platform designed by an African for Africans you know how uh, someone created Facebook and people are using it around the world Umo Jami is for Africans and Africans have registered from different parts of Africa so guess what they have upgraded their app now it's called umo jami plus so this is the time to update your app please please update your umo jami update to umo jami pulse if you are just downloading it for the first time look for umo jami pulse they want to give out one thousand dollars cash it doesn't matter where you are in the world they will send you this one thousand dollars what do you need to do very very simple they want to hold a fashion show on their platform all you need to do dress in a nice african outfit and take your picture it Either you take your picture or you make a short video you know like tiktok make it make sure that you follow the tiktok format and then post it on umo jami make sure that you include this hashtag because guess what people would vote for the winner they are willing to give one thousand dollars to whoever has the most reaction now i have a problem with the organizers of this one thousand dollar giveaway because guess what they decided to limit it to only women men don't you ever say i do not ever say i am not fighting for men on this show do you know i call them i said ha -ha. you cannot do that let men also put on their outfit let them have the chance to win one thousand dollars okay so okay Karina, it's not a small amount of money it is a lot of money if you dash me one thousand i will collect it so i was like no 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 we need to include men and they were like no right now they just want to do women so i said okay i will come here i will tell you guys about it just in solidarity i'm going to wear a male outfit a male african outfit and i will enter this a competition at least they cannot say that i'm not a woman i'm a woman but i'm going to wear male outfits and you who knows maybe people will react because i'm fighting for men maybe they will vote for me i don't know <laughs> trying to win this money i just want to make it but if i win this competition by any chance i would definitely give away this money and i will give it to a man because i'm all about equal opportunity for men and women i mean i don't think anyone is superior to the other people should be given equal chance yo, Jare. but uh, for the women that are watching me if you have a nice african outfit under your box or something that you've not worn in long time be creative is what they are is all they are looking for and the competition opens on the first of february now you know <laughs> the first week 
people would react, and then the week after, people would vote on whoever the winner is, and they would send $1,000 to whoever wins this competition. But I just want to appreciate the people at Umoja. I mean, you guys are trying. Do you know that besides this $1,000 giveaway, every single month, they've been giving out $70 to anybody that has the best creative idea on that platform. I'm just like, wow, this is really, really cool. This is like Africans trying to lift up other Africans. So if you're yet to update your Umojami app, please do. It will update to Umojami Pulse. And the competition starts on February 1st. That's when you should start uploading yourself in the African outfit. If you uploaded it before then, it doesn't count. I'm sorry. But you have from now till then to plan your outfit. That's why I'm telling you in advance. And of course, the second giveaway on the show. Guys, please, please give it up for my father. Uncle Kola Ashirubalogu. You guys know that on this show, when it comes to real estate, I have one auntie that is Auntie Grace. And then, of course, I have one uncle, Uncle Kola Ashirubalogu. They are both real estate moguls. And I'm so, so excited about this next prize that is being sponsored by Uncle Kola Ashirubalogu. You guys know I've told you about his real estate company. I'll still tell you more about his real estate company. But guess what? Valentine's Day is coming up. And Uncle Kola would like to sponsor an all expense paid time in a luxurious hotel a five-star hotel any five-star hotel that you want near where you live or city close to you so long as you can drive there or you can pay for your transportation there but this man is willing to pay all your expense up to one thousand dollars and he's not just doing this for one couple he wants to do this for two couples this is for the brothers if you want to take mommy somewhere or auntie somewhere and it doesn't have to be the man that will do this until you can do this for your old guy yes maybe somebody is thinking about proposing this valentine's day this could be a good way of uh, proposing he would like for you guys to go for spa for massage and all those nice things that they do in uh, luxurious hotels and he said the reason he wants to do this is so that you can experience the good life which is what they are trying to promote with his real estate company they want you to have good house and they want they want you to experience something like that when you go to this hotel. So Uncle Kola is about to spend $2,000 on you guys. Oh, and you don't even need to buy any of his properties for you to put in an entry. No, you don't need to have a passport to travel. No, just put in an entry, follow his pages. He wants to send two different couples for them to have a good time during this Valentine's period. I'll put a link in the description below. Please, please fill the form that you're interested. You can be in Australia to win this. You can be in Nigeria to win this. You can be in South South Africa, you can be in Kenya, you can be in Swaziland to win this, you can be anywhere in the world so long as there's a nice hotel, a five-star hotel where you can spend up to $1,000 for a two-night stay. We will be selecting the winner in two weeks, just in time for Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah, Valentine is coming! Woo! And then make sure that you come back to watch the show because we will be announcing the winner just before Valentine's Day. Like I said in the last episode, I will be cutting out individual stories and re-uploading them. Please, no vex when you see that it's because some people have been requesting for it all right y'all it's been real and i'm keeping it right up in here don't forget to follow me on facebook twitter and instagram and if you're yet to subscribe to my channel i'm watching you on plasma tv press the subscribe button and the bell button until next time i'm gonna see you later peace out imagine waking up one morning and finding your facebook account being blocked or taken down by facebook shocking right well you can spare yourself that shock by having a backup account with the Umojami Pulse app. With an Umojami Pulse account, you can upload your files directly from your Facebook into your account, making it secure for you to retrieve all your memories in case Facebook takes down your account. It is safe, simple, and so secured. Download the Umojami app from Apple Store or Google Play Store.